Cancer! Welcome to your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is your week ahead forecast from October 15th through the 22nd of 2019. Cancerian, if this is your first time finding my channel, I start here with an oracle card reading and then I go to Vimeo with a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. That link is down in the description box, so take a look. If you are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, expect one in about five seconds. There will be no more after that, so the message will not be interrupted. Let me thank you preemptively because that is actually a contribution to the channel, and I'm really grateful for your patience. So, I'll be right back. So, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, <laughs> lucky you. Uh, for those of you who actually watched the commercial, Thank you, thank you. All right, Cancer, let's get into this. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. We're growing here. Born Without Boundaries is taking off, and I'm so grateful to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much, Cancers. You always show up, and I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. So let's get into your energy for this week. Oh, also ring that bell so that you know when I go live. Uh, I go live basically Monday through Friday, except for this week because I am going to Texas for my sister's wedding. Cancer, what is the energy? The energy for this week, uh, October 15th through October 15th through the 22nd of 2019. October 15th through the 22nd of 2019. Cancer, there's a little bit of destiny and fate that's happening to you this week. I'm not kidding. It's a plane above, do you hear? Be fearless and bold. Okay, hold on. This is the energy that's crowning your reading. So that is still you having that fire energy in you, absolutely, but this is more than that. Cancer, this is also the stability card. Do you see this? So in other words, this is you must have confidence in yourself this week. There is going to be something that happens to you that challenges you to the very core. It is part of spirit's plan. Didn't I say this? Let me channel this right now. I've got to say it right now. There is a challenge that's being put toward you, towards you this week. Cancerians, it is a 159,000% chance that it is a test from spirit. Spirit is redirecting you and turning you into another, turning you in another direction or seeing how much faith you have. You are leveling up. Cancerian. You are walking through the door of abundance. You must have so much confidence in who you are, in how loved you are, in how much people care about you, and how much you can contribute to the world. You must have no doubts. If there is even a little bit of doubt, you're going to, you're going to cave. You're going to cave under the stress and the pressure of this test. It's a very intimate test. That's all I'm telling you right now. It is your Achilles heel. It's going to try to get at you in the worst fucking way. The whatever it is for you, whether it's love, for all Cancerians, it's not the same. Whether it's love or work or dreams or career, whatever it is, it is, it is definitely something that you love. More than anything, you love this thing or person, and it's going to be tested. There's going to be a walk away, a walk out on, uh, taking away like losing it and it, there's just going to be like emptiness in your banking account where'd my money go? there's going to be a test this week and the test is I'm going to give you the answer straight up you got to love yourself and you got to love who you are and you got to stay confident and competent a confident in your competence the entire way through because spirit is going to say how much do you want it this week and you're going to say I already have it spirit I don't know what the fuck has happened to it but I already have it. I already have it. That's how much I want it. I already have it. I already know it's mine. That's the kind of confidence that you have to walk through this week with. A rebirth is assured. Do you, this is 100% a test. This is being taken away from you like the book of Job. It's being taken away from you to see how you do under stress. To see, are you worth all the blessings that I'm about to bestow on you? Because you're about to get leveled up. You're about to come out of the dark. This darkness is not going to last forever. It is this week. In fact, it may be resolved by the end of this week, Cancerian. It's not going to last forever. I'm telling you, let me say it again. Not only is it not going to last forever, but it's going to be a quick turnaround. You will, you will see the light soon enough, but you have to demonstrate how you handle yourself in the dark.
whatever you're struggling with, it's part of this process. It's part of you becoming a stronger, better version of yourself and, and aligning with spirit more closely and more deeply. Show spirit how much faith you have. Yes, I'm telling you, as it's going, and I know I, I'm hearing all of you say it. I don't want to be tested. I'm sick of being tested. You're going to get the hardest, one of the hardest tests of your life. No, nobody is going, no, there's no death in concern. But something very important to you is going to be taken away. Something, you're going to be tested. You're going to be tried. Where you thought you were safe, you won't be safe. Yeah, there's going to be a shakeup and it's intentional. It's a test. The problem is this, you probably won't know where the test is, what direction it's coming from. How good of a test would it be? There is always enough. Oh, can you say, Cancerian, you already have all the resources you need. You're stressed out because you don't think you can do it. You're stressed out because you think that you've just been swallowed whole or emptied. That's bullshit. You are never empty. You have an endless supply. You have an en endless supply of land and sea. You're one of the few cr creatures who can survive in both. So listen very carefully. You do have enough. You have to be very clever and ingenuitive, but you do have enough. So please do not walk through this week. I feel like this week is almost trying to test how well you do under pressure, how well you do, how well you react under pressure and stress. People are watching you to see, see up. Uh, believe in yourself. They're, they're watching you. They're intentionally trying to drain you and empty you and make you feel like everything has been taken away from you. Or they're, they're trying to shake your confidence. They're trying to shake you up. They're trying to get under your skin. That's, that's, that's what spirit is intentionally trying to do this week. Why? They want to see how you do under pressure. Somebody wants to see how you do under pressure. Somebody who's about to invest a lot in you needs to know how you do under pressure. Do you cave? Do you, do you buckle? Do you let your integrity buckle? Don't let your integrity buckle. I'm going to tell you that right now. You stick to your guns and you make sure that you, yep, 100% spirit has a plan, but it's turned upside down. Oh, it's going to turn you upside down this week. Sometimes life stings intentionally. It's aimed right at you. At the center of your world, it's taking aim. It's taking aim. You're going to feel like nobody is on your side. Be loyal to what you love, but it's upside down. In other words, it's intentionally trying to make you betray those things that are most important to you. But look what's on the bottom of the car, the bottom of the deck. You, shining like a star, like the ray of light. Being able to live on land and sea, getting attention from everywhere. As somebody who's going to get this kind of responsibility, almost get almost like this is like a medal on your chest. You're going to get a medal. You're going to get a star. And you're first, you're going to be confronted by a sheriff who's intentionally trying to rattle you. They're testing your loyalties. I'm telling you this right now. You can survive this. You can survive it. You have the ability and the dexterity. This is the fake it till you make it. I know that your cancer, this is a big reading. I know that your confidence is going to be shaken this week. It is intentionally being shaken. Spirit has a plan. Reclaim your power. Whatever was taken from you, you still have everything that you need. In fact, Nothing was taken from you that you needed. You thought you needed it. You did not need it. And this is what spirit is trying to show you. You did not need what was taken from you. So there's no need to put your tail between your legs and beg for it back. There's no need to sacrifice your integrity. There's no need to fail this test. There's no need to worry or be scared because whatever was taken from you was not meant to be yours. Never wasn't meant to be yours was not meant to be yours. In fact, it was probably getting in your way. So these, this, these people are shaking you up. They're trying to do you harm to see how you act when things are not comfortable and things are not going well. They want to see, they're looking. Look at them, look at them, peering at you from the dark. This is somebody with a sense of power looking at you because they honestly think that you have a lot of potential. They honestly think that you have a lot of potential. Oh my God. These are people that you worked with. 
I'm going to turn the cards around for you. I'm going to turn the cards around for you so you can see them all, Cancerian. These are people that you worked with. Maintain your integrity, Cancerian, the whole way. Magic works through you. And look what comes around. This week you are dripping in success. You are, you are right. This is, this is the dark before the dawn. I was talking to my son last night and I just kept hearing the saying in my head, an arrow gets pulled back before it launches. This is that pullback period, right? And that's a lot of stress that's put on that arrow. And that's really the moment, not when it's flying through the air, but that's really the moment when most arrows pop or break. This, this stress is being put on you intentionally to see just how strong you are because where they're launching you, where you're, where, where you're going to go, it's going to take the best of the best. Do you have it? Do you have the right stuff? Because that's what they're looking for right now. They're going to try to shake you up. They're going to try to make you feel hopeless. They're going to try to make you feel disconnected from spirit. They're going to try to make you feel drained. They're going to try to make you, um, you basically all your confidence drained. It's like Harry Potter in book five. They're trying to isolate you so you feel weak and alone. And they want to see how you behave when you feel weak and alone. Do you cower? Do you buckle under pressure? Or do you stand up for what you believe in and stick to your guns and show them that integrity is a part of who you are? It's not a choice that you make. It is what you are. Let me turn the camera around. See, this is a huge reading. But I just had to keep pulling cards. Had to just keep pulling cards. And the energy that is crowning this reading is Badger. So it's all about, it's all about your confidence. Do you see it? It's all about your confidence. How confident are you? How good do you really feel about yourself? Even, listen, even when you cry, even when you falter, do you love yourself anyway? Can you love yourself? Even when you feel like a total failure, can you love yourself even when you feel like you've let everybody down? Because that's what the universe is trying to make you feel right now is like that you are nothing, that you're empty, that you're isolated, that everything is hopeless. Who are you really? Be fearless and bold. It is so essential this week for you to not let this shake you, for you to look it in the eye like the bitch that it is, put it in its place and tell them just how, show them just how strong you are. I can't say this enough, Cancer. This is a test. And how you do this week, in fact, it's realizing that you can't fail. You can't fail because all you have to do is be who you are. And who you are is somebody who would never give up their integrity. They're trying to break you down intentionally. They're trying to see if you'll lose your integrity, shake you up. Your loyalties will be tested this week. Hold tight to everything that you believe in. This is that week that it's so important to hold tight to all those ideals that you had when you thought you had everything. It's like, like I said, the book of Job, right? The devil's testing you, trying to test you. Or not even. Because listen, the book of Job was like the, the God allowed the devil to do it. Sure, Satan, pull out all your work. Why? Because I have faith in this one. I have confidence. I know he won't buckle. And God was right. Job didn't buckle. No matter what he lost, Job didn't buckle. Job kept loving and celebrating God. Now, I'm not Christian. I just know that story because the story is really effect it's a really effective story in showing that faith is something that comes from deep down inside of you. It's not about how good it's it's not about how good things are going. It's just about being remaining connected to the spirit and knowing that those times of of trouble are times to connect even deeper, like double down on your relationship to your faith in the universe and angels and God, but in also in yourself, 
because you are a vessel for true, pure, unconditional love and light. And that is something that is true. And, and when you realize that, your world will never be dark and you will always be that light shining in the dark because the light comes from inside of you. That's your place among the stars. You're looking at some major accolades and breakthroughs. Major. Please stick to your guns. Let's see more details on what this test is. Who is testing you? How you're being tested? And we're also going to do a romance reading. Full tarot card spread to ask some questions about the details. The ugly, dirty details. And your romance reading. I'll see you over there.